Okay, pretty exciting here. We're going to take this window out. It's about, my guess, a million years old. And uh, we're going to put a new window in, new double hung window. Uh, so I'll show you how to do it. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, here's the old window now. What we're going to do is I got this uh, metal screening already taken off. They had like a storm window. It's been cocked so many times, all the screws were all rotted off, so I just pulled it out. The window's right there. It just came out pretty easy. We'll take this trim off, you know, around here. I already took some of the trim off on the inside, but uh, I'll go through with you and let you know how to uh, figure out what size of window to get. So let's go on the inside and take a look at this. Before we get inside, here's the new window we're going to put in. A uh, typical double hung window. This is a uh, impact glass and the pressure drop rating. So, uh, so we're going to have some clips we got to put on this one. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. But I just got it out of the box and uh, just looked at a rough opening size for it, and uh, you know measured it up, made sure it all looked good. It does look good. So let's go inside and uh, we'll review a few things. Here we are on the inside, and what you got to look at now is, uh, you know, before you get too far into this, you got to figure out how big this window is. How big the rough opening is behind it so you know you got some as you can see you got some you know stuff in the way here so my suggestion to you is uh, if you're doing it yourself take the trim off take the trim off the window the existing window and you can sort of get your scale on here you know this one's about 34 but at the same time you can feel back there and you feel there's nothing there you know there's a little bit of room back there, so it's probably a little bit bigger than 34. So you figure that out. You do the same top to bottom. You figure out how big your hole is. And again, you can usually feel down there. You can feel a little bit more room. So you know it's a deep, little bit deeper, a little bit higher than what you're actually seeing right here. So you go to your Anderson window brochure, whoever makes your windows, and get something that fits in there. If you have to, get something a little bit smaller. You never want to put a bigger window then your rough opening because that's a lot of that's a lot of swearing okay uh, if you got to build in a little bit in each side up and down with a piece of wood or two not a big deal when you got to get into uh, you know knocking a two by four out or taking one of these uh, horizontal pieces out uh, you're gonna hate that so like I said if you get if you feel the wall back here and you figure it's 35 or whatever don't put a 36 wide in there put something a little bit smaller Put a 34 and a half or you know go down one size what you'll find with these new windows is uh even though they're the same size or maybe a little smaller their glass area is so much bigger uh this thing's going to look like a you know something out of a submarine compared to when i put the new window in here so uh anyway let me uh tear this window out and get a little closer to putting a new one in okay about 20 minutes later everything that was there is pretty much on the ground these old windows, they don't put up much of a fight to get out. Uh, they come out pretty easy. So, I got it all taken out. Now my opening's 37 and a half by 58. So I got the window laying on the ground now. It's pretty windy. I don't want to lean it up against something and have it blow over. So, the top to bottom is about 57. And the width-wise of the window is 54. So. You know, I got to go, or 30, 34, sorry. So I got to go from 34 to 37 and a half. Uh, two by four is one and a half, so I can put a couple two by fours in, one on each side, and that would bring that right into, uh, you know, 34, 34 and a half inches. Top and bottom, you know, I got 50, 58 rough opening. It's uh, uh, 37, or sorry, 58 rough opening. Uh, I got about uh, 56 and a half, probably 57 be fine. So I gotta uh, make a skinny one inch and it'd be either put a one inch on the bottom or I could put a half inch top and bottom, whatever I got laying around. So I'll figure that out. So that's it. So I gotta frame it in a little bit from what we got and uh, pop this sucker in there. It'll go in pretty easy. Okay, let's do it. So some of this uh, siding was uh, the one inch stuff they had here was getting in the way because I want to put a piece of wood to build this up again this wide I don't want to go this wide I want to go this wide that's where the that's where the windows are going to be hooking against so I want to get the I want to get this flush so I did that with my trusty sawzall out in the ladder here just uh, shaved it down here got it all nice and smooth not a big deal this is like hemlock or something it gives up pretty quick 
So, and if I got a little bump or two, it's not a big deal. But now I'll put a, I'll put a base on here, whatever width it is. Then I'll put two vertical stringers here. I don't want to put anything on the top because I want to get the top and bottom about even. And there's nothing right now to nail into here, you know, because right now we're at the siding. So I'll bring this up, you know, the width of a two by four. And I could probably sneak it under there if I needed to, the, the face, you know, the, the flange of the window. So we're getting there. Here we go. I built in the frame. And again, it was old wood, so it wasn't perfect. So, you know, anytime you put a piece of wood like this in, check it. And, uh, you know, mostly these old houses are pretty good. And, uh, you know, what I did, I it wasn't great. So I put a shim underneath it on its side. So I got this thing just about... Uh, plumb, or I should say level. Uh, plumb is vertical. And same with these things, you know. This came out pretty good. I didn't had to do no shimming at all. So I left about a three quarters of an inch left to right here to get the window in. So you'll split the difference there. And you know, one thing I found with these old houses is, you know, you can see that's not quite perfect. But if you look at the house, it's not quite perfect either. So it's a catch-22. What do you do, right? You make it perfect, that would put a, you know, kick the window out quite a bit at the bottom. I usually try to make it the same as what's there. Right or wrong, that's what I do. So, anyway, I got it pretty even the whole way up. So I'll be able to put that uh, window in no problem. And uh, same way in the down, get that in there. Like I said, this one has brackets, so I'll have to fiddle with that a little bit. But then I'll shim up if needed, try to get it even in the hole. And I'll try to get it even out here too. You want to even reveal here. Because you're going to be putting some 2 by whatever here for outside trim. And you want it even. You don't want it like 1 inch on one side and 6 inches on the other side. You want to get it within, you know, that way you see it from the bridge. You won't see too much. You know, you don't want to see it. You don't want it to be obvious anyway. So, okay, let me keep playing. Okay, here's the beast in. It uh, went smooth as usual. Well, you can see I added a little bit of material here. Like I said, the worst thing you want to do if you're putting a new window in your old house, and this is a replacement window, really, because you're replacing an old window. You already got a hole in the house. It's not a new hole. It's the same hole. You're just making it a little smaller. So I would consider this a replacement window, but it is what a Lowe's or Home Depot would consider new construction. It has this flange here. Replacement window, if you ever look at them, you know, you're expected to use the wood you already have for the window. You just take the panes out and build in from there. But usually that wood is so rotted. And again, you can see the, the wood I took out. It's uh, it's wonderful. Got the old window weights. The uh, cool thing is these window weights are still attached to the ropes. But uh, that's another story. But uh, anyway, so the window went in, no problem. So now I got to get some, you know, some 2 by 4 and do a little sawing and trimming and whatever and cock the crap out of it. No big deal. And on the inside, I got to do a, you know, I got to mess with, a, uh, I got to mess with the trim on the inside. And like I said, it's not too bad plumb-wise. You can see it's a little bit off, but it's, it's pretty much even with the house. You know, you look at it this way, and uh, it's pretty sweet. You know, so you shim it up a little bit. Usually, if you got a good solid base here, like I did, I got that pretty level. I put a couple spacers underneath there to get the where the window's gonna sit pretty level and uh, you don't have to do much messing with it. And you just put a tack in every one of these holes. And on the inside, there's some bracketry I gotta anchor in, but I'll get to that tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I gotta get a bunch of trim and start trimming it up, so. That'll probably take uh, easily as long as uh, putting in this window, because these windows usually go in fast, but they finish slow. So, hope this is a good video for you. If you ever have to do this project at your house, uh, don't be too intimidated. Take your time, uh, you know, figure out where you're at, get everything, uh, like I say, get the window a little smaller, not a little bigger, and you'll be, you'll be uh, doing good. So, of course, if you're up 20 feet in the air, it gets a little tougher, but usually people will bring them in from the inside of the house and, you know, put them in place, put them outside and bring them back inside. So you usually have two people. I just had myself and my 11-year-old girl helper, and she did pretty well. So, hope you had a good video. Bye. Okay, here we are. The window's all trimmed up. It takes a while for the trim, and I really don't expect this video to be anything about the trim. Just basically, you know, how to figure how big a window to get, really. That's the hard part. You figure that out, you get the window in, you'll figure out how to trim it. What I do with trimming, I just put a 
simple side here. This is a one by three. You know, this is a one by whatever. Usually I rip it to the width of the wall. You know, you want this stuff to lay flat. But anyway, I don't buy the jams. The jams will cost way too much money from Anderson. So I just get to select pine. And uh, anyway, rip it. Then I put a one by three. And down here I'll put a one by four. I'll leave the edge go a little long and maybe chamfer it or something. Pretty simple stuff. I mean, you can go crazy with trim. You could easily spend as much money on the trim as you do on the window. So, and I'll show you outside too what it looks like. Looks pretty good. So, I'll just let this for the person that owns it and let them figure out what they want to stain it. And, uh, if they stain it great, as long as they figure out what stain to put on it, I can do that. Not a big deal. It's a little bit of a pain because when you stain these things, you got to watch you don't get the glass. But anyway. Here's the outside. I trimmed this up too. I just put two by whatever. I got whatever I needed and cut them down. Uh, you know, put a little above. Tried to get the sides even when I put the window in. I was pretty close. So I only had to rip one size of these. I put it in there. Then on the top, I put a piece up there. Then I also put a piece of uh, corner flashing up there. I slid that underneath uh, underneath uh, shakes and uh, cocked the crap out of it. You can see I got a bunch of cock right here. I usually beat it on. A lot of people are better than me about with caulking, but I usually beat it on and hit it with my finger to smooth it out. A lot of people don't even have to do that. They're much better. So that's it. I'll let that dry a little bit, paint it white, and put the screen in. I got to take a film off too and be done. So hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.